Self-taping while on the road. Hey everyone, I'm Matthew Cornwell with Get Taped in Atlanta, Georgia, one of Atlanta's original audition taping services, which I co-own with my amazing wife, Brooke. And now on to our topic. Self-taping while on the road. Today I want to get practical about two different scenarios that you might encounter while self-taping on the road. One, the scenario where you forgot to bring any equipment and have to make do with just your smartphone. And two, where you've planned ahead and are deciding what to pack or buy for your trip. Scenario one, no equipment. So here I am in my hotel room and let's pretend I just got an audition, but I forgot to bring any equipment with me. Should I decline? Well, that's actually a loaded question for another video, but I don't have to decline based on a lack of equipment. Let's see what I can accomplish with just my phone and what's available here in this room. First, we need to find a backdrop for the audition, preferably a neutral color, unlike this swirly wallpaper over here. Also, since sunlight is going to be your primary light source, you wanna pick a wall such that you are facing the window. I actually have two walls to choose from in this room, but for the sake of this video, let's choose the wall where I'll actually be standing perpendicular to the window. All right, so here I am against this wall. That's not really that great because as you can see, there's actually a change in color. So I'm positioning myself to sort of be right in the middle of it. Again, not ideal, but any decision maker is going to understand that you're doing the best you can with the limited resources that you have. Now, since the light is coming from only this side, it's creating some harsh shadows on my face, but thankfully, hotels almost exclusively use white linens. And what you can do with your pillows is place one underneath you. You can also place another one sort of off to the side and create a little bit of fill light. Now it creates a sort of uncomfortable situation where I'm sitting in this chair and I've got my laptop with maybe my, my script on it, which also incidentally you could use as a light source itself by cranking up the brightness. I've got uh, pillows on my lap. It's really not an ideal environment, but when have you ever acted in a perfectly ideal environment? And the other part I wanna talk about is sound. Right now, this is the sound of the iPhone's microphone. I have my other trusty microphone with me that improves the sound, of course, for my videos. But even with the microphone that comes on your phone, you should be okay. The thing to worry about, however, is your reader. You don't want your reader standing as close as you are to the actual camera, uh, which is essentially where the microphone is. So you want your reader to stand further away from the camera than you are. Now, if that compromises the eye line, if it forces them to maybe stand way off to the side, then you may have to look at something else nearby as your eye line for the audition. But again, as an actor, we're used to these things. So it shouldn't be that tough for your audition to be staring at the logo on the back of your phone or something else as your eye line. Another problem that you run into in a hotel with no equipment is where to put the phone or how to mount it in a way that it's steady and at eye line. As you can see from the wide angle camera, I had to get kind of creative by using the uh, ice bucket uh, to, to actually set the phone on top of. This is the ironing board that came standard with the room. And sometimes uh, you can move desks and, and chairs and other things around. Unfortunately, in this room, this desk over here is, is mounted to the other thing that's down there, so I couldn't actually move it. So I had to resort to getting a little bit more creative with the ironing board. Now, for some auditions, I'd prefer to stand. Well, in this particular setup, I'd be limited to sitting, unfortunately. And as actors, we just have to deal with that. So when you have no equipment, this actually doesn't look or sound that bad. Let's move to our second scenario. Scenario two, with equipment. If you plan in advance to be self-taping while on the road, then you can pack a nice setup to bring with you, depending on whether you're flying or driving. For this particular trip, we were driving, and so I was able to pack a tripod, a large ring light, and a small ring light. Additionally, I also have my external microphone. Now, the lighting and the sound in my first example weren't that bad, but by bringing equipment, what it affords me is more flexibility in where I set up within the room and also what time of day. By bringing my own lighting, I can now come to a different wall in the room and I can film this at night with no sunlight, which is what I'm doing right now. 
And of course, using an external mic makes my sound that much better. It also means I don't have to worry about the reader's volume. In fact, I may have to have them stand even closer so that they can be heard at all, which is a good problem to have. The other thing this setup affords me is the ability to stand if I want to. Because I packed a tripod that can extend all the way up to my height when I'm standing, it allows me more flexibility in that arena. And there's one final topic I want to cover when it comes to self-taping in a hotel room or some other less than desirable location, and that is the full body slate. First of all, if it asks for a zoom between close-up and full body, don't worry about that. Just do a cut from the close-up to the full body slate. And don't worry about what they're going to see in the background. I mean, sure, tidy up your personal belongings, but if they see a hallway or part of a bed and Brooke's legs as she's taking a nap, who cares? I've never heard of an actor not booking a job because of what the casting director could or could not see in the slate. Hopefully those two scenarios show what you can accomplish in a hotel room with or without equipment. That's it for now. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on set. Say goodbye, Brooke. Bye.